Four years ago, we saw a series of rolling blackouts here in California during an intense summer heat wave, briefly cutting power to millions. Those outages were ordered by the California Independent System Operator because of insufficient energy supplies. This time, though, those forced outages do not seem likely, at least for the time being. CBSA's Richard Allen is here with more on the outlook of the state's power grid. Richard? Well, that's right. California is connected to the sprawling western interconnection. That's a massive power grid spanning the western United States, one of the largest in the world. Now, currently, the power grid is holding up, but Californians should still be prepared for any unexpected outages. He's Leonel. For mom Deanna DeLeon and her four-year-old son Leonel, finding some shade at the park is a welcome way to beat the scorching heat. The weather has been really crazy. In the past, one unwelcome part of these crazy high temperatures has been rolling blackouts, which we experienced throughout the state during the monster heat wave in August 2020. During that severe weather event, hundreds of thousands of residents briefly lost power. The first time that outages were ordered in California in nearly two decades due to insufficient energy supplies. There definitely is stress on the grid during high heat events. Anthony Wagner with SDG&E says that so far, SDG&E is not forecasting emergency outages, which would be issued by the California Independent System Operator, or CalISO. But that said, San Diego should always remain prepared just in case. And that includes making sure you know where your flashlight is, making sure your vehicle is charged or fueled up, uh, and making sure you got enough food and water should there ever be a sustained outage that's unplanned. To let you all know. Earlier this year, officials with the California Energy Commission said they were heading into this summer feeling more prepared and confident, pointing to new resources added to the state's power grid over the last four years, totaling eight and a half gigawatts, including battery storage and solar, as well as the state's hydropower plants. One gigawatt can power approximately 750 50,000 homes. And while no electricity shortfalls are expected, state officials warn that unexpected events like wildfires impacting transmission lines could still possibly strain supplies. Mira. Which is why everyone should have a plan, including mom Diana DeLeon. Not prepare. No, no, we have to prepare. Yes. And along with being prepared for the possibility of an outage, there are also steps you can take to help ease the burden on your power bill. Now, according to SDG&E, one of the best ways to do that is to shift your energy use to off-peak hours, meaning all times outside of 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Carla? Thank you, Richard. And you can get the latest forecast and weather alerts sent straight to your phone. You can download our free CBS 8 app or visit CBS8.com.